Our View with John Anderson. What in the world has happened to the Democratic Party of Guam? The once proud political party of Carl Gutierrez, Ricky Borrello, and Robert Underwood, the party that claimed a majority of Guam's registered voters, at least among those who expressed a party preference, the party that arranged for a presidential visit and welcomed fellow Democrat Bill Clinton to Guam. So far in this election year, the party has given us a pretty pathetic political performance. The election is coming faster than we may like to think. Student-hosted candidate forums began this week at GCC, and incumbent Governor Eddie Calvo was there Tuesday night to justify his re-election. The next night was for the Democrats, but they still have no declared gubernatorial candidate. So Rory Respicio was there in his capacity as the party chairman and majority leader of the still Democratic-led legislature. He barely won a seat in the current legislature, finishing 15th. So while Rory would clearly like to challenge Calvo, his primary focus has to be on his own re-election. Other Democratic vote-getters, such as Tom Atta, or Speaker Judy Wanpat, or even first-termer Mike San Nicholas, have not come forward yet to throw their hats into the gubernatorial ring. Are they afraid Calvo has the election wrapped up? He might have. He's done a masterful job of putting money in people's pockets. The long-term debt arguments that his opponents put out there about this cause the voters' eyes to gloss over. A check in the mail, even though it may be your own money coming back, is much more effective. This all reminds us of a conversation we had a few years back, a few elections back, concerning the re-election of our Congresswoman and Democrat, Madeleine Bordayo. We asked the Republican Party chairman at the time why the GOP wasn't putting up an opponent. Why should we, he said. She's doing a terrific job. And indeed, she ran unopposed. Switch the parties for this year's Calvo re-election, and you could well have the same kind of conversation. Where is the enthusiasm, the fire in the belly, the confidence that a viable Democratic candidate would need to deny Diddy Calvo his second term? The titular head of the Democratic Party is the aforementioned Ms. Bordayo, and she's already got a job. As for the others, nothing so far. The Democrats had better light a fire under somebody, or they can start planning Eddie's second inauguration right now. Our View represents the editorial opinion of the Pacific News Center.